OK, I'm just going to show you how to activate different tracks using dummy clips. The question is, if I have two synths, um, for example here on 2 and 3, um, that are receiving I information from my MIDI, uh, my MIDI keyboard, when I play the MIDI keyboard, both the synths are activated. Now, of course, there's the, there are MIDI, um, you can use separate MIDI channels, um, and change the, the channels manually on your MIDI keyboard or you can use dummy clips to um, activate and deactivate the various synths. Essentially you just use it to turn the volumes uh, up and down of the various synths. So for example if I'm playing um, scene 1 here um, I want to be playing want to, the tension synth to be active and if I'm playing scene 2 here I'd like the synth, the um, operator here, to be active what I need to do is just quickly record into both of these clips um, some blank data. That's enough. I only need a small amount. Deactivate record. So now I have some clips. These are dummy clips. I'm going to relabel these clips as on. Okay. They're on because when I go down to the clip envelope here, and go to the mixer, have a look at track volume. Track volume is on maximum, so the track volume is wherever the maximum value is set on the, on the mixer here. Now I'm going to copy these two clips and I'm going to go into edit those and using again selecting mixer, selecting track volume, I'm going to turn the track volume down and I'm going to do the same with the clip in track 3. Then I'm going to relabel these off and off. OK. Now simply by arranging these in the correct order, so for scene 1 I'd like tension on and synth walk off, and for scene 2 I'd like tension off and synth uh, the operator on. Just demonstrate this quickly. Pretty straightforward, but that's essentially how you do it.